Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> Linda Ray, Texas Girls Farm. And as you can see, I've been standing here. First, Maggie was playing, and I kept waiting for her to move again. And she wouldn't move when I was videoing them. And then I started videoing these roosters going up underneath Dutton and Dutton looking at them like, what are y'all doing? But it's turned out to be, it was real windy this morning, and it's turned out to be a beautiful day. Um, mother and I ran into town and ran some more errands, took her to Walmart, and uh, got our, our few things for the little puppies there. Then we came and was going to Tractor Supply until the girl at Tractor Supply actually looked at my propane tank and said that it had expired and it needed to be certified yeah so i had no idea anything about that so right down the road on the other side of the loop on mccoy's <laughs> is a gas supply company so went down there had it certified went ahead and had it filled there he told me some things um i think after you get it the first time you get it certified, it's good for 12 years. And then every time you get it certified thereafter, it's five years, which who would have known? I wouldn't have known. So that was the first time that I've been carrying those propane tanks to Southern states that somebody even looked at the tank. Uh, the guys that work there, they, they've never looked at the tank. But that young lady, she looked at it, which didn't, wasn't any problem. After I got it filled up, turned around and went right back and picked up some feed. And I was glad it warmed up. The wind was kind of up this morning and um, about 8.30, 8.45 it started slacking off. And, and it's still blowing, but it's nothing like it was this morning. And um, took Mother to lunch and then headed back because I was washing clothes at her house while we were gone, uh, drying. And they weren't all dry. But um, the uh, young men showed up. And look, they restacked all that. And one young man cleaned it all up. And I told him he didn't have to do that. Because um, I had it all stacked up over there. But that's fine. I appreciate it. And then he got uh, was sweeping. And I said, I got a leaf blower. So I gave him the leaf blower. And he kind of just cleaned up everything. But I wanted to show y'all. And I think I'm zoomed out and I'm not going to be able I'm probably going to have to walk down this hill a little bit they have got this this whole wall done and I don't know what uh, there's going to be a 3 by 3 window there over the kitchen sink and then there's the door and I don't know how they're going to come back down in between and meet those up. But it looks like that section and that section, what needs to be done. But yeah, it's coming along. They And they did exactly what I thought they were going to have to do. They tore down the scaffolding that was over there. They didn't take this down yet and moved what they needed here. You can see, and there, so they could get up and work. And they've still got this in place. And then the rest of the scaffolding is on the other side of that um, hardy board. So it's coming along, coming along, coming along. So they even framed some more of that. So it looks like that part of the roof there and that part of the roof there, it's all that's needed. I don't know what's going to take place right there at the top. I guess we'll be finding out sooner or later. But they just, I mean, they keep such a tidy work area. And um, it's just, yeah, coming, coming along. Coming along. And then they have this wall, which he said it'll go two times faster because they don't have to cut any of the, um, the grooves. And... Um, Junior just opened the door and came out. Don't have to notch any of the grooves in the tuba sixes. So, yeah, um, 
real pleased. With, they still got the steps to do, but y'all can get an idea. Uh, kitchen area from the door, which I think we're going to have a linear room. It would have been tight getting um, patio doors there. So I'm glad we decided to go with the one door. And uh, just think, we're going to have to run pipe all the way up there. So I'm going to have to figure out where exactly that wood stove is going to set over here. Get a base. It may get some of those uh, uh, one foot by one foot papers and just lay down in there. I don't know what I'm going to do. And um, get that in. And I went and checked it. There's some... One inside is, was six inches, so, and I think the one that goes from the roof up was eight inches, so I'm hoping it's going to be tall enough to have the proper distance um, from here to the peak, whatever that measurement has to be. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it was coming home. It was said it was 63 degrees. I know, <laughs> them dogs playing again. I know. On the computer, when I sit down to clean out some of my files on my phone, it said it was 55 degrees, but it's nice. It is really, really nice. And they'll be back over here in the morning. And, uh, uh, it gave me some, um, self-tapping screws to put, um, we're doing a, going to do a project of mothers. I took five of these, um, one by six by no, one, one by four by 16 foot up to mother, five of them, because she had some extra metal, so she wanted her porch enclosed, and instead my sister said, why don't we just enclose the backside of her carport, which is the same built like that with the uh, aluminum post, and I said, the perfect idea, we'll have to cut some of the um, metal off of the, the, panels but it'll work it'll work so not gonna make this a long video we got got a lot of little things done today everybody's looking for supper Dutton Dutton you ready to eat huh you ready you are y'all hear him talk to me you know he's spoiled and I got home. I wanted to let him out. The dogs had been in the pen, so I let them out. And um, let the chickens out early this morning. And I haven't been locking them up. I, they just go in on their own and let them do their thing. So, yeah. Glad to see. And I'll back up and see if I can show y'all. The sun may get us. But, um, the chickens. Mama! <laughs> what are you doing? She went out for a little bit. But there we go. And, uh, yeah. I'm getting excited to see this wall come together. And the, the um, hardy board, the board and batten part put on. Yeah, well, I think, I don't know when they're going to put the um, house wrap on. Maybe before the board and batten? I don't know. I don't know. They're the builders. I'm just paying them. So anyway, it's turned out to be such a beautiful day. Hope y'all's weather has turned nice. And if y'all like the content, hit that thumbs up. Yep, subscribe. Come on over to the channel and subscribe. Oh, be careful. Be careful, YouTube. Be careful. I gotta go crawl, close the trailer door. And if you want to keep uh, knowing when we upload a video because, you know, I try to get one every day, but sometimes, you know. If you ain't got nothing to fend, there's n no sense in really making stuff unless you're updating and catching you guys up. So, hit the notification bell. So, every time we upload a video, you'll be notified. And we'll update you tomorrow with the progress that they made and uh, they'll probably be coming and working on this one I'm not for sure I'm gonna stay out of their way i may 
go up to mother's and start working on our project at least measure off and get the um one by one before is up on the aluminum post so we can put up the metal um i gotta get some screws so i may go ahead and measure that out and do that tomorrow i got batteries charging i already got my skill saw and my screwdriver in the back of the truck made sure those batteries were charged and uh that said i hope y'all have a nice evening and i'll leave y'all with that beautiful sunset and we'll see y'all tomorrow